Galactic Standard Date Year 11356 Day 87 Seoul Standard Date 3 of the 30th 3267 Catherine dead sprinted to the mess hall with the free attendee in her arms. Valenthi was just screaming and laughing while holding her arms up. Valthan just sat there with an expression of serene calm, as if he wasn't going as fast as an antennae ground car while riding an alien female. Soran, however, was absolutely terrified of falling off, so he decided to wrap his tiny arms around her neck and close his eyes, hoping for the best. Catherine rounded a corner and kicked a button on the wall, prompting it to fall away and reveal an empty mess hall, save for Ashley Hale, who probably jumped out of her seat in terror as her captain flew across the table to reach the nearest Nom Nom engine. Holy fuck! What's going on? She said. Catherine didn't even spare her a glance. She just started working the interface to the Nom Nom engine while responding, No time to talk! The Mousies are in desperate need of Noms! She said, we were skipping a beat on the order. Ashley just shook her head and mumbled, We're all mad here, Ashley. Thinking of a classical movie from the early entertainment years of America. Catherine had promptly ordered the engine to spew out four traditional Terran breakfasts for cultural exchange. She sat the free attendee down at a table and handed them each a one-fifth size downscaled version of a classic pancakes, bacon and eggs, while sitting herself down with a full plate of syrup with some pancakes in the middle. Her pancakes themselves also had every kind of sweet thing you could possibly imagine on top of them. She looked over to the attendee and happily yelled, Bon appétit! As she looked at her captain's meal and retched, as she remembered the first time she came aboard, and the captain had given her that same plate of sugar. The three attendee looked at each other a few times before Soran spoke up. Miss Catherine, did you check to make sure we're even compatible with this food? He said. Catherine just shrugged. Terminatus said you're compatible with us for the most part, so I'm pretty sure you'll be fine eating our food, she said, as Jeff and Alan came barging into the mess hall completely out of breath. Catherine just cocked her head and asked, Everything okay, guys? You seem pretty tired. Did you go for a run? She said. So Rand tried to cut in to ask a question when Alan just yelled, We were chasing you! We thought the ship was in trouble or something, he said, which prompted Ashley to start laughing. Ashley looked over at her brother through tears and said, Why the hell didn't you just check the ship status with your own eyes, Danas? We all have the implants. You literally just had to think about it and concentrate, but no! You decided to run a marathon to catch this madwoman when she was in full panic mode over her new friends needing some damn food, she said, slowly settling down. Alan just grumbled to himself, while Jeff just turned around and walked away, shaking his head. Soran then took this opportunity to yell out his question. Who in the third realm is Terminatus, and how does he know we are safe to eat this, he said. A light appeared on the table that slowly formed into an Imperium Death Marine in full armour. Then a familiar, heavy, synthesized voice rang out for the vessel. I am Terminatus, the shipboard AI, and I deemed you worthy of our noms when I scanned your bodies within the first compartment which you entered into within myself. Have you any other questions, Ambassador? He said. The three attorney just nervously shook their heads before the hologram disappeared and the light had fully faded away. Catherine started eating her food as if it was the first thing she'd eaten in years. The attorney picked up their silverware and stabbed at a piece of bacon with their forks before taking a small bite. They all burst into tears at the taste of this bacon and started scarfing their food down with reckless abandon as their stomachs filled with their foreign food. Valenthi was the first to finish her meal, out eating even Catherine. She looked over to the other attorney and, with a contented sigh, decided to just say what was on her mind. I think we should ask if we can have permanent residence here. I don't think I could ever go back honestly, she said. The other two were still half a plate of pancakes away from being able to answer, so they just vigorously shook their heads, yes, and threw up a tiny thumbs up. But everything looked over to Catherine and said, We seem to be in agreement. Do you mind if we impose a little bit? You know, maybe a few years at least? She asked. Catherine just started sobbing and leapt over the table, wrapping Valenthi into a hug that led her right to a syrup and sprinkle covered face that was a mix of sweet and salty now that the tears were included. Catherine, in between syrupy sobs, said, I literally love that! You little guys are welcome on my ship forever and ever! I'll fight whoever tells me no, she said. Valenthi, in between trying to gasp for air through the syrupy tear-stricken mess that was Catherine's face, just started laughing and said, 
but being older than my great 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 grandfather, you sure do act like my little sister. If we ever get the chance, can we swing by and pick her up? She asked. Catherine beamed at the suggestion of a smaller, cuddly aboard her ship. Of course! She yelled. <laughs>